Good morning. Uh, welcome to the Sao Paulo Advanced School in Social Sciences. It's our great pleasure to have you here. Uh, during five days, we are going to discuss what we consider some contending important pressing issues of contemporary democracies. And uh, we begin with inequalities. We end with inequalities. <laughs> so we, this is one of the issues we are going to discuss uh, here. I, I have uh, the pleasure of opening this, uh, this session. Uh, we have here uh, Professor Raul Machado from the USP um, Agency of uh, uh, USP International Agency. Professor Maria, Maria Arminda Arruda, who is the director of the School of Philosophy and Social Sciences, who is uh, who is uh, here, we are here at the, at the school. And then we have Angela Alonso, who is a professor of sociology here in USP and the president of SEBRAP. Uh, professor Sergio Costa, uh, uh, who is uh, the person who is the director of the Maria Sibylla Marian Center in, in Latin America, which is a project between uh, Brazil USP, SEBRAP, and uh, Germany. And finally, Marta Rodriguez, uh, that we may have, uh, has organized this, uh, uh, this school. Uh, please, Raul, yeah. take the floor. Thank you. Thank you, Professor uh, Maria Minha. Good morning. And the Professor Maria Arminda. Very nice to be in your house. Thank you. Professor Sergio Costa. Nice to see. Thank you. Professor Sérgio Costa, professora uh, Alonso e professora Marta Machado. Uh, uh, just a few words about this initiative that is uh, a very uh, very special initiative and uh, that was coordinated by uh, on our side here in the beginning of the construction. Uh, the Sebrapi and uh, on, under the, the conductor, Professor uh, uh, Angela Alonso, and uh, Professor Sergio Costa was the two uh, main references in the construction of this initiative. Let me say something about this type of initiative is one of uh, uh, important internationalization initiative because one of the uh, important tasks in the last cycle, the cycle I mean the, just the, the, the administration 2014-2017, it was the physical presence of partners, international partners at University of Sao Paulo. This is, it is quite relevant, you know? We, we want our partners physically present at our campus, because this is uh, part of our uh, task, our big objective in uh, internationalization of University of Sao Paulo, that is consolidate at University of Sao Paulo the international environment. When I mean consolidate at home this international environment. And this is part of the consolidation of the international environment. And thank you. I would like to congratulate for uh, this uh, very active initiatives related to the Marian uh, Institute. <coughs> and uh, uh, I'm proud to be uh, kind of a uh, 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 helper. OK? Thank you very much. And have a very productive five days. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, first of all, I would like to present my compliments to Professor Raul Machado, uh, Professor Angela Alonso, Professor Maria Hermínia Tavares de Almeida, <coughs> Professor Marta 
Machado Rodrigues, Professor Sérgio Costa, and welcome the participants of our Faculty of Letters, Philosophy, and Human Sciences to all professors, researchers, and students. At the same time, I express my gratitude for the invita invitation to take part at the opening of São Paulo São Paulo's Advanced School of Social Sciences. I must say that it is a honor to hold this event in our university, especially because beyond being the director of this faculty, I am also a professor of sociology. I am a sociologist. In this condition, I am aware of the importance of raising the discussion about the dynamics of a contemporary democratic society. This school has gathered an outstanding team of researchers and specialists to discuss this subject. I'm sure that the debates will surely contribute to identify the challenges ahead. I'm sure also that this meeting will be a reference for others' events on the same subject. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to express my gratitude to, especially to Ma Maria Hermínia and to Marta Machado, who organized this meeting. It's part of our uh, huge project that uh, Raul Machado has been supporting very much. We are very grateful for, for the support we, we had in the last few years. I'd like to also uh, thank Maria Arminda for uh, open this space here in our faculty for, for this uh, project. As Sergio is going to tell you a little bit later, I, I suppose, we, are, we have a, a, an international interdisciplinary uh, center who, if we are lucky enough or well evaluated well, it's going to take us for 15 years in the study of inequality and conviviality. It means in the uh, ways to put together the tensions between uh, inequality countries, especially in Latin American and Caribbean, and uh, the ways of living together in complex societies. So we are very excited to have this uh, seminar today because we believe it's uh, a way to put together uh, students that can know about this initiative and also to have colleagues that are referencing their fields that are connected to our main goal uh, in this research. So I'd like to thank you all for being here to, today and I hope you have a great event today and in the next week. Thank you. Sérgio Costa, please. Thank you, Maria Minha. Dear colleagues, dear participants, dear friends, it's a privilege and an honor to participate in this opening session representing the Maria Sibila Marian Center Conviviality and Equality. And now you have also an acronym to make things more uh, easy, and that's, uh, the acronym is MESILA. So, but it's a new acronym. You have also to uh, become familiar with uh, this acronym. We uh, involved also, also you, those involved in the project. 
not only in Brazil, in Latin America, but also in the so-called uh, <laughs> global north, living together democratically and in peace has become more and more difficult. Growing inequalities, new forms of populism, the colonization of states and even international organizations by the rich, that is the conflict between the 1% against the 99% as formulated by some social movements have destroyed the hopes for justice of a whole generation. During these difficult periods in which we have our reasons to be perplex and lethargic, initiatives as this school you are starting just now are necessary. Uh, these initiatives open new forums for discussion and exchange between various disciplines and between young and more experienced scholars from different parts of the world. This school of advanced studies with this uh, its uh, timely agenda combines at least four central topics for our present. <coughs> Democracy, inequality, contestation, and critique. Accordingly, this school is not only a space of reciprocal teaching and learning, but also a strong response to current nihilist and anti-political trends. I would like to congratulate the organizers for their brilliant and inspiring endeavor, especially Maria Emilia, Marta and Angela. I would like to congratulate uh, the organizers also for putting uh, these uh, scholars, these international scholars together, and also this group of young uh, researchers. I also uh, thank them for their generosity for including the Mayor Center of Conviviality and Equality as co-organizer of uh, this school. You know very well that actually uh, you did the hard work and uh, our name is there and we are also very grateful for this. Permit me to use this opportunity to briefly, really very briefly introduce the Mesilla Center. This young project started in April of 2017, joining three German and four Latin American institu institutions, which are Freie Universität Berlin, University of Cologne, Ibero-American Institute, also based in Berlin, University of Sao Paulo and Sebrap in Brazil, University of La Plata in Argentina, and El Colegio de México in Mexico. The project is part of a funding line of the German Ministry of Education and Research created to support the establishment of five centers of advanced studies in Africa, Asia, and Latin America. Along, along a quite competitive process, four cities were chosen for hosting these centers. Sao Paulo, Guadalajara, Delhi in India, and Accra in Ghana. A fifth center will be created in China. One of the objectives of this funding line is contributing to overcome asymmetries in the so-called global geopolitics of knowledge production, that is, to create less asymmetrical relations between scholarly work in the global north and in the global south. In Sao Paulo, we research structures, negotiations, and representations concerning living together in unequal societies. We have already a coordination office staff and three postdoctoral scholars working at the moment in Sebrap, but uh, they will move to the uh, USP in the next times. We have also organized some uh, conferences and workshops, and if everything works well, we'll be able to host Brazilian and international fellows at our central uh, from uh, 2020. You find in our uh, conference folder uh, this flyer, and there you can get more information about this uh, new center. Let me conclude uh, with uh, a more relaxing remark. As some of you perhaps know, I know that Marta knows, Ben knows, so those who speak uh, German, uh, who speak German, the abbreviation of this school is PASS, means in the German language, fun, spree, pleasure. So I'd like to take this semantic coincidence as a motive for encouraging our participants to transform this school into a space of intellectual pleasure 
and personal enrichment. I wish that you enjoy these days together and coming next week to close this event with new ideas, new projects, and why not, new friends. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Sergio. I, I'm sure we will have field <laughs> spas. <laughs> Please, Amanda. Good morning. Well, as part of the organization, I just would like to thank uh, all the people involved in this in this enterprise. It wouldn't be possible to organize this without the permanent uh, support of Angela Alonso and without the, the, um, the help of Edson Bicudo, André Naum, Sandra Gomes, Daphne Sampaio, and our monitors. Uh, I would also like to say that while organizing this, we were all shaken by the death of uh, Marielle Franco, and it was uh, a shocking episode uh, the, the killing, the brutal killing of a politician and also a, a black leader. Uh, it's certainly a, a, challenging, a challenge to our discussion on democracy in Brazil. And we'd like to dedicate this call to her. the next section, but before that I want to thank uh, Fundação de Amparo ah, Pesquisa yeah. do Estado de São Paulo, FAPESP, <laughs> and uh, CAPES uh, for uh, <laughs> allowing us, for giving us the funds uh, that allow us to, to meet during five days here. Uh, thank you so much, and let's move to the next session. Yes.